Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Danielle here. How are you doing? Um, I hope you have an amazing day. It is um, Motivation Monday. Hey, so um, yeah, so that is Motivation Monday today. I hope you're having an amazing day. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post. And stay tuned for Friday's video. It's going to be a fun, great one. Um, just stay tuned. And I hope you're having a great Memorial Day. Because um, we're seeing this, it'll be on Monday, which will be Memorial Day. So I hope you have a great day. And you, if you're off of school or whatever um, here in the States. So, yeah. Um, today is another Motivation Monday video. Hope you're having an amazing day, amazing week. Um, check out Friday's video. It's kind of a funny one. Um, if you are, if you, if you go watch Friday's video from this video, go comment Labor Day weekend, and then I'll know you came from this video. Um, if you haven't already seen, if you already seen it, be like done down below as well. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, that's where I'm most active, and I have my link tree all down below where you can follow all my social medias. Um, and all that fun stuff, so check that out. I spent some time making it, and I really think it's really cute and totally me, so super excited about that. Um, I also might be getting my hair cut this week, finally. You see this? It's, it's a mess. It is a mess. All right, guys, so in the Motivation Monday today, it is, um, we're on our last two, so next Monday will be our last, um, Motivation Monday for patients, and I'm super excited to end it. Um, I might have a really, really fun video coming soon, 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 soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just get right into this Motivation Monday video. Um, so today's, I'm um, sorry, I'm getting my Bible app out. Um, today is called Serving Others and Patience. Now, that can be hard, right? Um, the, I'm going to read two verses and then um, we'll talk about them and we'll just get into it. This one's kind of a short one, but also really, really meaningful. And I hope I have some things I think will really, really help. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just get right into it, y'all. So we have First Peter verses five and six. Sorry, guys, this is bothering me. I feel like you can't see me. Okay, that's just gonna have to do. Okay, I'm doing it this way. Uh, first Peter verses five. I mean, First Peter five six. So it says, "Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God." So that at the proper time, he may exalt you. Um, and something I took from this, I wrote some notes down. So let me look at my notes. It says, humble ourselves before God, be patient. One way is serving others by gifts God has given us. Um, and now the next verse is 1 Peter 4, verse 10. It says, at each, has each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as God's stewards of God's great, a varied grace. Um... Now, serving others, we practice patient. But, serve, but by, by serving our gifts, and we're not, um, we're on God's plan, not on our own journey. Like, you might not get this gratification that you're thinking you should get from that. And I think that can be really, really hard sometimes because you're like wanting, we want to affirm, be affirmed, and sometimes you won't get that. But through God, you really can. Um, now, in this devotion, there's a few things that I really, really liked. Um, and it's all to honor God. Like, it's all to honor God no matter what. And I think it's really special because it is all to honor God. And I think it's really important. And when it comes to serving others, like, for me, my spiritual gift is serving. So I really enjoy it. But someone who maybe doesn't, like, you can serve people in many ways. Like, um, serving them with your time, serving them in church, serving them by just sitting in text and knowing you care about them. There is serving them by teaching them. Serving them like your gifts are all compared to you. And I think it's really, really important to, um, actually, let me look for that verse. There's a verse about spiritual gifts. This is, it's, um, Romans 12 verses six through eight. It says, having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us use them if prophecy in proportion of our faith, if service in our serving, the one who teaches in his teaching, the one who exhorts in his or exhortation, the one who contributes in generosity, gen generosity, the one who zeals with zeal, and the one who acts of mercy with cheerfulness. 
so i feel like if you need any kind of i feel like the biggest thing you can do is trying to figure out that is pray really pray for the holy spirit to let you know what that is um but i think this is also really hard because yes it's something you operate in but i think also it can be really really hard to show patience when serving others um because you can struggle with so many things and um so many hard things and and don't always rely on your own like obviously like you operate in that but there's so many other ways like you might operate in one or like operate in like multiple but like really use us and like do some research like look up like what um people in the bible that had this gift like how they represented how they did it um i think it's really important i think also um, when you're in a community people are really good about a church community you're able to call out those things and tell people hey like you're doing this like that's awesome and like all these things i think is really really good um but just have patience when serving others i think it's 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 hard um and it's on god's agenda not on ours i think it's something i remember um but we know our call to serve others and to be in community and to be patient um be patient with the lord because like I've always say, it's not an Amazon package. The Lord's going to do what he wants to do. But be patient and serve others. And a few application things I think that are super, super important. Um, let me come back to this. Sorry, I was hearing a noise. Um, first thing is make a list of your gifts and talents. And how can you serve others with your gifts and talents? But what I, I also, how I learned a lot about my spiritual gifts is actually from taking a spiritual gift like quiz to see, there's a bunch online, um, to see which one works for you. Um, because when you're able to find that out, it's somehow hard to identify yourself. Um, so like take a quiz or something that it will tie to help you identify and then go from there, try to look research on how this is best used. Talk to your, um, people who are like maybe elders pastors someone who mentors you um i'm not like the most knowledgeable in spiritual gifts but i definitely could give you some resources if you want them but i'm not gonna say i'm super knowledgeable um i'm learning more and more about them i'm learning more about myself as well in the process so i think it's really important and really awesome to be able to just know your spiritual gift and use that to serve others um mine's service so um i like to serve others in different ways and like big or small um I just love that's how I operate um, no job is too small um, to serve the Lord and that's even with anything no teaching is too small no exhortation is too small no prophecy is too small no um, act of mercy is too small um, I think that's really important to remember and I hope that I encourage you um, there's actually this I want to before we go I want to read this last little paragraph of the devotion because I couldn't have said it any better than this did so i'm going to read it to you um and then we're going to pray and then yeah so this, i've taught i was this is what she says i was taught that when you serve others your focus is shifted and you perceive a new perspective on your situation i encourage you to patiently listen to the needs of others and serve them with the gifts god has given you so when you're serving someone you can kind of put a new perspective on your life even though sometimes you'll be like oh this sucks but like when you really you can see and it shifts and um and it also shows that you love them and it's really really cool so i'm gonna pray for y'all and then i'm gonna head out and we'll see y'all so dear lord thank you for who you are god thank you that you are good thank you that you are faithful god and that you give us these gifts that can really help us serve others god and i pray that anyone um needing help god that they just know and they help to serve others, God. Um, I thank you for your goodness and thank you for this platform, God. Um, pray that everyone has a good week and be safe out there, God, um, and stay protected. But um, God, just thank you for who you are. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, guys, that is all for my Motivation Monday video today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Comment down below. Sir, um, spiritual gifts if you are watching the video right right now comment down below so i know you watched till the end of the video thank you so much for watching don't forget to follow me on instagram where i'm most active check out my link tree and all the fun stuff and stay tuned for friday's video i can't wait to see y'all and i hope you'll have a blessed and amazing week and a great labor day um 
as you see at the end of the day for most people, but maybe not. So I hope you have a great day and don't forget to take one step at a time with joy and I will see y'all later guys. Bye.